Hello YouTube, Ash Pika back with another... Actually, I think this is my first one, so, ha. Huh? Um, fucking tablet. Shush. Okay, well. Yeah, I think this is my first... Today, I am lightening my hair to... Shit, I don't have the box. One sec. To this. Uh, ah, shit, there's gonna be so much glare. Okay, there you go. So this is what I'm using. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris uh, number two high lift extra light natural blonde. Wait, I already used the um, lightest one to go from dark black to light brown. So that's what I have. That's what I have right now. But it might look a little different because I actually have. Um, this, we're actually going to need to be dyeing my hair again. Well, for me, again, because I already did it once. And it is Arctic Fox in Netherlands. I really like the color. But this is a semi-empty bottle. I have a new bottle over there that I'll also grab. So, what we have to do is lighten this hair. So I read the directions. They give you gloves. But I don't like those gloves, they're just way too big. So let's take off the hair tie, which I don't even think you guys saw. If you're going to be laying your hair, just spend a little bit more money and just get like a big box of like latex gloves. Because these, like, they fit your hands so much better than the, these, these cheap ass gloves, which like you can't see because this is very, my room is very white lighted, and I'll get to that in a second as a story time once I start lightening my hair. So, but first it tells you to first use, you have like four products, you have the toner, or not the toner, the developer, you have the developer, then you have the, um, what's this? Permanent color cream, which goes in the developer. And, as I said, this is very white light, so you guys can't really see the product, so just try to deal with it. Uh, and then you have the, um, conditioning serum, which is in, like, a more, like, soft tube. This is more like an acrylic. I got this. Because there was like two different versions. There was like the liquidy one, and then there was the cream one. I don't like the liquidy one. It goes all over. You can't really control it. And if I can, I'll try to block the light. But you can kind of see it a little bit. When I did the first lightning, uh, I was just trying to get up here, just getting right at this line, and then over. And as you see, try to block it out. Over here, you can kind of see a little bit more, just trying to block at that light. But um, the lightener went all the way down here. It went down my head and then rested like right on here. So I'm going to try to keep the lightener in this top and on this side. Lock that light. There we go. It came up to here and rested. And then it came down a little bit and rested. So. That's what I'm trying not to do, so I'm hoping that the creamer helps. Uh, I did get my hair side bleached when I was like really younger for some spirit day thing. And the, the bleach or whatever it was, was a lot thicker. So like you could use it with a brush, this you couldn't really, so... Get the other glove on so we can start. Oh, there was one other piece. One sec. Okay. So, now I fixed it. Room's a little bit darker. That's alright. I have the, I have a white light here. That if I angle it up and then release it. There we go. Eh, it works. I can deal with it. I think. I don't know. I should have like a border here of uh, lights. Okay, so the other thing was this tip. Yeah, it's like very white light, so let me see. Yeah. Is this tip right here, which will help me uh, comb it through my hair. 
So, and that's another reason why I bought this. Um, I want to try to warm that, but I'll do it some other time. So, this is a 30 minute process, which is going to be a living bitch. But the last one was like almost, I think it was like a 45 ish. Um, so, we have the developer. So, we unscrew this, and then we squeeze all of the two then which the direction was like a little bit weird oh sign no um well I'll I'll pop this but when you bleach light and color hair oof it popped a lot okay you want to wear light clothes or put a towel on so you uh, don't mess up your clothes. This shirt is a white shirt, so I don't really uh, mind. And I don't think it will really do anything to the fabric, so I don't really give two flying Fs. Okay, I think that was all of it. And then, cap this. If you were like anal and you want to get every single little drop since it's a um, at like an aluminum tube, you could like crimp it down, which this, I don't really care about. If it was coloring, maybe because coloring is a lot more expensive. This was just like $10. And a lot of people be like, $10 is so much money. No, not really in the hair thing. But one thing I am going to put in that's very optional down here is, um, I don't have the Olaplex I would use with me. But usually with hairliner, I use Olaplex, but this is the Olaplex number number three there. You can't see it. It's backwards because I need to be backwards so I can do my hair. So this is the repair. This isn't as great as the step one, which step one, you just need to add a little bit of jobs, but I'm going to add just like a one second squeeze to it. So one there. That's all I'm going to put in. I'm not going to put any more because Olaplex can boost the formula to make it stronger or weaken it depending on the bondage. I'm not sure which way this will go, so that's why I just put a little squeeze in. The Olaplex you would just usually put, I think for this it's about 10 drops-ish, I want to say. So I do trust Olaplex. Um, there's the... All H HD Plex, which is also good. That's also an add-in. But now you just uh, shake for 30 seconds. But they do give you this um, pre pre-treatment. Um, if you have color, and if you haven't like treated your hair before uh, to use this, I did treat my hair before, so I shouldn't need to use this, but. We'll see. If it, if my hair becomes crisp, that's why I have the Olaplex 3. It's a strengthener. I will just be skipping the coloring for one to two days while uh, this is uh, treating my hair. And I'll get into this later. So, now we pop the top and we start ooh, applying. I should have probably popped that before. Just pop this and I'm actually gonna switch the tips Oof, yeah. that's one thing I don't like about lightning my hair I'm gonna just put the comb on and I just wanna see how it reacts first Okay. Ah. Now, because I don't think that my hair 
can suck any more in. I'm going to take off the gloves and I'm going to start the uh, time process. I'm going to um, get some tissues and just clean that up. And I already got some bleach on there, so I'm going to clean that up there. So, uh, okay. So, it has, oh, no, that black strip is still there. Fuck. I thought it would disappear. One little, like, that should be. No, one little like stripe right there. What the fuck? But I used basically like almost the whole entire thing. I think a little bit more than what I did last time. So that's kind of shocking. I I was actually able to get a little bit more in this, but probably in a month or so, if I want to relay in it, I will. But I don't think I will. What the fuck is that? It just doesn't really... No, what? Okay, like, the weird thing is... Let me see if I can shift over. Okay. You see this light right here? This is a blue cover on that light. There's a blue light here. I look over. There ain't a blue light on that wall. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a ghost. Okay, so... It's been about a half an hour. And I'm shocked, again, that I didn't get any color on my shirt. And last time I did, I did it on my laptop, and I did it on my bed, which is right there, which you guys can't see. If you were on that computer, you can see it, but you're not, because that computer is not thick. Um, with, so this camera couldn't stick on. So, it lightened quite a bit. Bit. I don't know. I think I might actually want to lighten it one more time. Much later, not not anytime soon. Probably like once this actually like fully gets out now, since my hair is a lot lighter, I should my eyes, as I mentioned it previously in Florida, like I'm blind, all that, blah blah blah, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. So since my hair is now a lot lighter, I should be able to see this a lot more so I can kind of different so it said it could last up to 40 washes I didn't do 40 washes but I got um I don't even know how many washes I know I didn't do 40 washes but so I think it's calculating on a person that washing their hair every single day which you're not supposed to because it's damaging your hair Unless you use, like, a non-sulfur base shampoo, then you're not really damaging your hair, so that's not me. <laughs> because the my shampoo, the whole line, is vegan-free vegan and sulfate-free. And my hair, for some odd reason, it bugs my scalp to a little fuck ton if I use um, any type of sulfur shampoo now. Which, I kind of hate it because sulfur shampoo is a lot cheaper. And I know it's a lot more harmful for your hair. But it's like, I don't want to spend so much money every single freaking week on shampoo. That's not, that's vegan. And I can't use so any, um, like there's so many limited like conditioners I can use. So, <sighs> so now I'm going to go wash my hair and do some conditioning and it I did I went on the website and it said uh, after washing you can towel dry whole towel dry not scrub towel dry so that's what I'll do and uh, I will be right back so this is what it looks like now I don't think I'm going to be coloring it this week or tomorrow just because uh, even with conditioner in um if you know your hair well you know when it is not right to color and when it's right to color right now it feels a little bit um damaged so i'm gonna spend a couple days uh working on strengthening it and maybe lighten it again because it is very um like, down here is not damaged. I can feel a section, like, 
right up here, like in the back, that I think I fried, maybe using like a strainer or something. So I want to try to heal that spot uh, up. I can also feel that my scalp has got burnt, or I, I don't know what you call it, um, bleached. Like I don't know. Like it doesn't feel like it is like it itches. So I think it like fried or chemical fried or something. So I know how to treat that and everything. But I'm not going to be coloring it like anytime soon. I'll probably lighten it again. I, under these lights, I'm not sure how it really looks because it's white light. And with uh, bleached hair, you don't really want to use white light. You kind of want to use yellow light to imitate like the sun and stuff. So, in this light, it looks a little bit light, lighter than it probably is on camera. But, oh my god, now I have a, I have that blue thing on my head. It must be, like, reflecting, like, that light must be, like, reflecting the camera and stuff. Because, like, mm, wait, right there, I'm a drone. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, if you guys ever want to follow me, I'm always on Twitch dot tv ash pika 17 around like 9 p.m on saturdays and you can also catch my friend kathy skywalker that's now part of the um i'm not sure what we're gonna call her like little click but but if you want to follow us i'm gonna try to discuss that um to her tonight if she's online what our click name is gonna be because i think I want, um, I don't know. I'll discuss it with her tonight, and it'll probably be coming up on stream when we figure out our name and stuff, so. Follow me on my Twitch, twitch.tv as ashpika17, or you can follow me on my Instagram, which I kind of post sometimes here and there things. So, see ya.